The leaders have been fighting the Pentagon's plans to cut jobs at Selfridge Air National Guard Base. And this morning, believe it or not, it looks like they may have won part of their battle. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live in the newsroom with a look at why new positions could be coming to our area. This is a story we would love to hear about, Kim. It sure is. It's kind of like the old saying, when one door closes, another one opens. Except this time, it's when a fighter jet takes off, a transport plane lands. Literally, here's what's happening. The budget for fiscal year 2013 still calls for cutting 450 part-time and 200 full-time jobs at Selfridge. These are positions that will be lost when the military relocates two dozen A-10 Thunderbolt 2 air to ground attack aircraft. That is still happening. But here's the good news for those who rely on the base for a living and want to see a staffed base in our state for security. The nation's defense secretary recommended yesterday that the military budget for two dozen C-130 air transport planes at the base. Representative Sander Levin says his hope is the addition of staff needed to support these planes will make up for the loss of jobs as the fighter jets leave. Now, nothing is final yet, but as many as 2,200 people are believed to be needed to support those planes. Live in the newsroom, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.